one I gotta say is just gonna be quick, simple, short, and to the point. That way I'll hurry up and go to bed. I'm tired. Hello, you know who it is. It is purple. You know how I do. Be nasty. A white female who is rapping using the N-word. Once I heard about this, I was like, okay, I need to see about this. Now, what I had expected, I did not get. So this is actually what I have to say about what I did see. All of this is my opinion. Everything that I have to say is my opinion. I'm not on either or side. It is how I feel. With that being said, for her using it, it is not that big of a motherfucking deal. The song that I heard her use it in, she only said it four times. And she really didn't use it in no bad way as in saying, you motherfucking knackers. She was just like, Shout out to my niggas, I be doing this with some niggas, and that nigga, and just, just using it how any other African American person would use it. Was it right for her to say it? No. But, does it really matter? N not really either. I have a feeling not a lot of people care, because that's not the important issue about V Nasty. First of all, her name, V Nasty. Well, her vagina is nasty, it stink, it smells, and it sounds like a fucking disease. Two, she can't rap. She can't rap. We should be laughing, not being upset. She did respond in terms of everybody else um, talking about her using the N-word. And her response was she was using it because she grew up in the hood, lived up in the hood, so she know how it is. It's just a word and all that stuff. Honey, I'm talking to the nasty here. Honey, woman to woman. One, your name is really disgusting. You really might have to change it. I'm just saying, okay? Two, you're not really a good rapper. I mean, mm, you do better than somebody who can't rap, period. But I'm not saying you'll get a record. And I already know you're getting money, so I guess you're doing something right. And three, you are white. You don't have to rap. You can get out of it. You don't have to do it at all. You have, you have an advantage that your friends from the hood um, don't have. Me, I bet you I can't because I'm black. Yes, we're going to use race. Race never dies. It only multiplies. Remember that. I bet you if one of these black rappers stop rapping, they're done for. And if you were really from the hood, if you really were from the hood, you wouldn't say it. You actually respect your friends by not using the N-word. And to everybody else, understand this. Us as black people, we don't have that much. At least give us something that we can have. Okay, all we have is the N-word and dancing, rhythm, athletes, um, body, skin. You get the picture, okay? But there's not a lot that we really have that other people can say that they do have, okay? Let her go, okay? She's making, she's making money off of it, I guess, but she's not going to go anywhere. Just remember that. And to uh, be nasty, just understand that you're just upsetting us because you're basically just making us go down even lower. You might not know it, but you are. And it's not a hating, it's just letting you know what you're doing. We all have to understand, we live in a society in which we have to know our place. It sounds horrible, but that's in the society that we live in. We live in a society that in public schools, we can't use religion or some places that it, if, depending on your sexual um, attraction or what you like, you can't go into churches. We are in a category and we have to stay in our place. That's just how society is. Live with it. I'm done. I'm going to bed. I'm tired, okay? I'm purple. I'm going to bed. Some night niggas. Yeah, that's right. I can say nigga because I'm black.